What is going on, guys? I am Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we are Rally Roots. Didn't even have to look. Nice. So today is Monday, and this video is going to be another what sold last week on eBay video. Whistle wah. Whistle wah. Whistle wah. So in this video series, we show you guys some of the items that we sold ourselves on eBay in the past seven days. So throughout this video today, we're gonna to show you 12 items that we sold on eBay, ranging from clothing to shoes to accessories, lots of different things. Most of the things that we're gonna show you on this video, we found either at a thrift store or at a garage sale. So that's one of the things that we do for a living. We buy stuff from thrift stores and garage sales and then we resell that stuff on eBay and Amazon for a profit. So yeah, we're gonna show you 12 things that we sold in this past week mm -hmm. um, and and special announcements. Oh. <laughs> well, kind of. There's a new Goodwill open. Yeah. By us. I know we get excited about a new thrift store. So excited, actually. <laughs> so we're going to go check out that Goodwill and see if we can find anything there to resell on eBay. Um, it just opened up and it is massive. It's yeah. like one of the biggest, I think it's like one of the biggest Goodwills in America. Smart. It's huge. So, and it's like five minutes down the street from us. Each. So yeah, guys, it should be a good video. Um, let's start off things by telling you one of the items that we sold. We'll start it off with this men's 2XL Orvis button down. <laughs> the bigger sizes, as you guys know, sell better for us on eBay. This is a 2XL um, and we got $37.37 for this item. So definitely on the higher end of what the Orvis items go for. But again, if you don't ask for the money, you'll never get the money. So. Ooh, if you don't ask for it, you ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Knowledge bombs. So there's item number one, 11 more items to go throughout this video. Come hang out with us guys. Let's go to Goodwill. And Whistle-Wah. Whistle-Wah. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Ah. Hey girl, can I get your number? Look at those rims. <laughs> Did you find anything yet? Everything. Found <laughs> all the North Face. Nice. Whoa, that is a big warehouse. Wow, all right. And then it's just like a regular Goodwill store in here, and then back there is the warehouse. It's pretty cool. All right. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can find some stuff. All right, so before we show you what we got, first impressions of the new Goodwill, what do you think, babe? Overpriced. Yeah, I'd say it's slightly overpriced. I mean, I think that as they continue on, they'll probably start pricing stuff a bit better, but there definitely were, there were definitely like the regular brands there that we see all the time. Yep. Um, wasn't anything too exciting. Um, probably the most exciting thing we got was the surf style suit that Allison found. Pretty, pretty cool item. Yeah, accidentally too. Right, but most of the stuff, I mean, I saw like Izod for five bucks. I would say most of like the, um, the dress shirts and polo were around five dollars each and then the ones that they considered boutique items they were between eight and twelve dollars and the girls section for me whenever I was looking through the shorts because the activewear shorts and the regular shorts are mixed together yeah just a pair of like air apostle shorts right denim used shorts like right nine dollars almost some of them were like between seven and nine bucks okay so all the shorts started at five dollars and went up to ten dollars for used shorts gotcha so weird. a bit of some stuff was a bit overpriced the the electronics i would say are priced pretty well pretty decently there the housewares and stuff i would say priced okay it's probably still better to go to like home goods or something to get to get housewares yeah for the quality that's in there but i would say overall it's not a bad goodwill um, I'm hoping that it does continue to get better as it as it continues on, but it's definitely, I mean, it's close to us, so we probably will be here a lot. Yeah, it's definitely, you go here to buy for yourself, not to resell. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But with that being said, we did find some stuff to resell. Just a couple <laughs> of things, yeah. So here's what we found, guys. The first thing is I found, um, an, I found an Orvis uh, button down, which is funny because that was the first thing that we showed you that we sold last week. Uh, so we <laughs> found, found an Orvis button down. It's not one of the bigger sizes. I don't know if the, if the size tag was on there but I would say it's around a size large it's a good color it's in very good condition so I think we should get right around $27 for it and Goodwill had that Orvis priced five bucks so they don't really know about Orvis brand yet which is good yes <laughs> all right babe tell us about your amazing find bum, ba, da, bum. 
Yeah! Sir style, can you see all the colors, Duke? The colors. Oh my goodness. Look at that tag, guys. Surf style. But what makes it so amazing? The matching pants. The matching pants. Oh, that's got the embroidered logo on it too. Whoa, look at that embroidered logo on it. Nice. We paid up. I didn't realize that each piece was $4, but we paid $8 total for that's the item. Bad. And I think we should at least get 40 bucks for it. That's exactly what I was gonna say. And it's first class shipping, so. Your first class. Oh, we're gonna save at least $4 on shipping alone just because it's under a pound. Yeah. Here's the thing though. It is a size medium, so I'm gonna try it on first to see if it fits me. Yeah, because in surf style, you're a medium, not a large, because yeah. it runs big. If it fits me, it's mine. Mine. Happy birthday, Ryan! <laughs> and then the last thing that I found in the clothing section was this really cool um, old school Tampa Bay Buccaneers shirt. You can tell that it's very, very vintage by the tag. Yeah. Look at this tag, guys. Discolored and old champion brand, very old tag. I would say this shirt's probably from the 80s. I could be wrong. Wow. It's made in the USA. Um, it's the vintage vintage Bucks logo. It does have some um, some dirt on the back, but Allison thinks she can get that out in the wash. So Yeah, it's not spots, it's like a mark, so it looked like it fell right. on the ground and then they picked it up and it brushed up against like a dirty car or something so we'll try to get that out and then i'll say we, we should get maybe during football season we'll throw it up and we'll get around 25 bucks for the shirt okay and it was only two dollars the t-shirts were only two dollars and 17 cents except for the harley okay. davidson t-shirts the harley shirts Stop. were boutique and they were seven dollars each yikes oh and then the last thing we found is back there it's a air purifier yep yep the made in the USA one, right? Yeah, made in the USA air purifier. It is quite heavy, but we only paid $10 for it. And on eBay, we should be able to get between 60 to $70. Allison says she might throw it up as a local sale. Yeah, just because that's a great thing. And I sure. feel like lots of people are searching for air purifiers. Right. Yeah. But even if we throw it up on eBay, at, let's say we get 60 bucks for it after shipping, after fees, after everything, we'll still make like a net $25. So it's worth it picking it up. And that's what we found, guys. That's what we found at the Goodwill. That's what we found. At the new Goodwill. Not too bad. Will it be good? Yeah, it's mediocre. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So now let's continue on with the whistle wah. What sold last week on eBay? Dun, da, da, dun. Hold on, I gotta find it. Next item that we sold is this Baron Bull Trapper pocket knife. It sold for $30. We took a best offer on it. And this is the item here. Boom, kid knife. <laughs> yeah, we listed it for like 38 or $39 and then took a best offer on it. We have a whole bunch of knives that we didn't pay much for. So when we get offers on them, we'll take the offers. We had a box of knives. Boxo knives. Boxing noise. Item number three is a pair of Valentino sunglasses. It's from that lot of sunglasses that we found at the garage sale. We sold this pair for $49.77. Pretty good deal there. Also went first class, so shipping was nothing on it. And we only paid five bucks a pair for those sunglasses, so. And another item, a long sleeve Jerbo. 2XL shirt for 30 bucks. It had a nice big old graphic on it. I think we actually got 34 for that, not 34? 30. Yeah, 34 dollars. Oh, for 34 dollars. <laughs> I literally thought it was 30 just like the knife. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, 34 bucks for that. Pretty good sale. So there's some items that we've sold so far, guys. We'll continue on with the video. I'm going to go to the office, to the warehouse, and meet up with Callie. She's doing our shipping for us right now. Allison's going to go get your to hair the did. Office. Oh, you are going to the office. Yeah, my oh. appointment's not till three. Okay. Okay, well, to the so office. 150. <laughs> there you go. Who's that Callie over there? Oh, you know. I have to die. He's sick still? Yeah. Aww. Oh, yeah, switch that off. Demonetized. Hey. <laughs> Everybody tell Callie that you hope she feels better and doesn't Please. die. Oh, look, you've done the shipping. So shipping! Shoes. Yay! Sold boxes of shoes. These are all sold shoes. Oh my goodness, that is a wall of shoes. Good job. All right, continuing on with our the rest of the What Sold video, here's everything else that we're gonna show you guys that sold on our eBay account in the last seven days. The next item is this men's OWSLA, which is the Skrillex record label brand. We got a whole bunch of them and we paid like $2 or $2.50 each or something like that, and they've been slowly trickling out selling over the past few months. Um, there's only two of these ones left. This one sold for $34.77. Really good Great sale. Great sale. So we don't mind them sitting out there for a while 
and then getting 35 bucks every time they sell. Next item is this Burberry men's size large polo and it sold for $39.77. Nice, Burberry. The next item is this polo Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, we know we're saying it wrong by the way guys. We know that it's Lauren, but we like to say Lauren. <laughs> and we will continue yes. to say Lauren. <laughs> so we sold this polo Ralph Lauren uh, Pima soft touch polo for 25 bucks, $24.77. We only buy the Pima soft touch of the polos because we can get the most money for them. Not saying that the other ones don't sell, we just like the soft touch ones because the, we get the $25 that we want for them. This pair of Vince Camuto heels, Camuto? 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 Camuto heels. <laughs> they sold for $54.77. They were heavy, so I made sure that the price was worth it when we bought it, and that's a really good sale. It is a good sale. I'm excited. The next item, Callie found. Callie, Callie. you found it. I found it when they was out of town. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> there we go, that's better. I'm so short. So what is it? It's a it's a Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt. Button up. Button up. Plaid. Do you remember how much you paid for it? I think you paid like two fifty. Yeah. Two fifty? That sounds right. And it sold for twenty three dollars and seventy seven cents. Yay! Boom! Money. Moolah. You win, Callie. Alright, back to work. <laughs> this Cloud Veil full zip hoodie sold for 30 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Actually, funny story about that item. We got it from a thrift store and we thought it was a men's item and we listed it as men's. It got to the customer and then obviously Oops. they returned it because it was the wrong size. Oops. Uh, but we got it back and it still sold for 30 bucks. So it happens. It does happen. We're not perfect. Next up, we sold this The North Face. The North Face. For your face. <laughs> it sold for $24.77, no best offer, just straight sale. I believe it was a vintage item, like one of the older North Face polos. Mm -hmm. Wasn't in great condition, but we still got 25 bucks for it. Ryan meant to say vintage the North Face items. I didn't actually, I meant to say North Face. Not the North Face. North Face, for your face. The North Face. And last but not least, these Mario Vans Villains shoes. They sold for $50 and on the bottom of them, they have the game over. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and they weren't in perfect condition. I actually washed them like twice and it really helped, made yeah. a big difference. Just don't put them in the dryer, guys. And I think that was also an item that we had listed quite a bit higher. I think we had it listed for $70, um, but they had been listed for a while and we only paid a dollar for them from a garage sale. So $50, when we got the $50 offer, we were like, let's not be greedy. A dollar and a $50, can't beat that. So mm -hmm. yeah, still sold them. And there you go, guys. Woo! Hope you liked this video. If you do like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit that little bell notification button. Little ding. So that you guys can get notified every time we make a video. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. And then don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. And I guess that's it for us today, yeah? Yep, gonna go fix my hair back to the way I want it. Ooh, ciao guys, see you later. Peace, Here Chicken it comes. grease. Here it comes, <laughs> bye.